What's life like outside of the music? What What are your hobbies, interests? What keeps you fulfilled? Um, well, I am a full-time hairstylist. Okay. I work at CTV, so I do hair for like the TV hosts. So my hair is always True. done. I do it myself. Um, I don't rem remember the last time someone touched my head. Like I probably haven't um, gone to a salon in years. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm complicated, and I'm like very like meticulous, which is probably with the hair. Yeah, with the hair, which is probably like, uh, which is probably why like my look as well too. Yeah. Um, I didn't make any of my clothes tonight, but usually, like, I make oh, my own clothes. Oh, you went straight there, man. You guys <laughs> messing up my questions, man. Uh, I'm ahead of you. I'm ahead Come of you. You on. said, what are my hobbies? Damn, I screwed myself. Should have thought of that. Me. Ladies, you, she does hair. If y'all need your hair did, I <laughs> talk to Blue Will right here. <laughs> She'll sing for you while she's doing it, too. No, that's extra. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> you can go back in time and do a jam session with any of your favorite artists that have passed. Who would it be? That have passed, or that can they passed. still be alive? Let's do both. Um, it would definitely be Beyonce. Make some noise for Beyonce. Yes, there you go. Have to. Who's alive? And then, in terms of who has passed, hmm. You seem like you no, like the performers. Who's like, trying to give me answers? You don't see Hennessy Jones. <laughs> like, Michael Jackson's a good one, but he's he's like, um, yeah. Is he at the top of my list? It would be Whitney. Good job. It would be Whitney. Good job. So you got Whitney and Beyonce, man. You gotta you gotta show love for Whitney every <laughs> single time, every single time. Did that help you remember any fan experiences? Um, I think mostly. Um, there's been nothing like too crazy yet. I think it's mostly like people that come from far to like watch a show, whether it be like old friends, like in the audience, like Katie. She, I haven't seen her in probably three years. She came for Beyonce and realized I was having a show tonight. So she decided to come to the um, show as well too. Haven't All seen her in three support. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. where do you live now, Katie? Halifax. And she lives in Halifax. Katie, you came all the way from the east? Yeah. Jeez, Katie. <laughs> Welcome to Clubhouse Jams, Katie. <laughs> No doubt, no doubt. As for music, let's get back there. Mm -hmm. What's your experience like in Toronto? Um, it's really good, actually. I've um, I've definitely gone way further in Toronto than I did in Ottawa. Even though I was just starting when I was in Ottawa, I was really only doing like little shows and little coffee houses because I was still in high school, and um, moved to Toronto for just like the the culture and yep. the the experience and also obviously the the music scene as as well so i would say um it's not it's not like the it's like 50 50 getting your foot into the door it's like this it's networking it's like putting yourself out there but also like creating um you know like good music good Absolutely. enough music for people to like actually pay pay attention to so um, the experience is, like, in comparison to Ottawa, the experience is, is better. Yeah. Yes. And you still got to be competitive here, which leads me to my last question for you. What's it like? I know you have to balance life as a mom. She, she's a, mo a beautiful mother of a seven-year-old, by the way, guys. Make some noise for her. Please, please, make some noise. Um, what's it like balancing that life as a mom, full-time hairstylist, and also a musician, somebody who expresses himself? How does that... How does that all intertwine to make you put out quality music efficiently too? Because you got to keep going as an artist. It's very competitive. Um, I think that everything like has to have balance. So, and in in times of when you feel like you need to give something more attention, you you actually have to do that. You also have to like listen to your your body and listen to yourself. So when when it's time for you to tap out or when you know um you're going through a low point it's like it's time to it's right. time to reset you know you can right. you can never manage everything perfectly yeah um you can put out things perfectly and you can do things perfectly sometimes not at all at the same time yeah you know what i mean so when it's time to be a mom you got to be a mom when it's when it's time for me to do my job like i do my job and then when it's time for me to be an artist i'm an artist gotcha. you know would you say you're raising a little artist yeah, he's like, he sings, he paints, draws, like, yeah, he loves video games, obviously. <laughs> Expressive, though. That's yeah. dope. All right, so to the music, what do you got coming for the rest of the year? I know Caravan is coming. You're extremely colorful. 
your tracks represent your culture. What do you got dropping? Something secret? Um, so I have an EP coming out on the 24th. So geez, you guys geez, look out geez. for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. EP right before Caravan. Are we going to expect some, some jump up? I don't know about jump up. There's definitely there's definitely vibes though. Okay. There's not do 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 do, but there's like you know <laughs> you you can whine a little bit. <laughs> I love that. All right, so you got an EP dropping. Any dates for performances happening soon? Um, I have some lined up that I will announce shortly. But yeah, but yeah, that's oh, about it. That's it for now. Love that. All right, this has been Blue Will. This is our interview segment with her.